The reason it can be so hard to find real answers or solutions for connective tissue problems is because the underlying cause for these issues can really vary from person to person. It's not always going to be the same cause, so how could it possibly always be the same solution? So what's important to understand is that the body really needs nutrients for it to run and function correctly, not just for you to get up and walk to your car so you can drive to work. Even while you're sleeping, there's a lot of functions that the body needs nutrients for in order to carry out those functions. So if someone is not bringing in enough nutrients, the body still needs those nutrients. So what it will do is it will often break down its own tissues to access the nutrients that are not coming in. So the person can be having connective tissue issues because the body is trying to access the nutrients it's not getting, and those connective tissues are a very good source and easy to access those nutrients. So the most common reason that a person might not be bringing in enough nutrients is because of digestive malfunctions. We need our digestion working correctly so that we can break down the food that we're eating into elemental nutrients like vitamins and minerals and amino acids and and dietary fats. So if we can't digest correctly, we can't access all those nutrients, and then the body has to try and figure out, well, where am I going to get these from? That's one possible cause for connective tissue problems. Another issue is that the body usually breaks itself down during the day while it's in this catabolic state at the cellular level, and then at night, it moves into an anabolic state where it rebuilds and repairs itself. The problem is some people can get stuck in this catabolic state most of the time, and they're not moving back into that rebuild and repair state where the body would be rebuilding and repairing these connective tissues. So you can see different causes can create this problem from person to person. If you want to understand these underlying causes along with steps to improve them, you can click on the link on the screen or in our our pinned comment for our full video on three steps for connective tissue problems.